Hello everyone. I have to admit that I have become a bit of a nut when it comes to my audio. I like to make my audio, or at least try to, make them sound as clear and crisp as possible. Not that I have everything figured out when it comes to audio, but one thing I like to do to my audios is to depress them. And I'm going to show you how I used to do it manually and how I do it now with a plugin. And I also will tell you which plugin I use, why I chose that plugin, and give you a quick little tutorial. It's a very simple, very straightforward, very user friendly plugin. So let's start and go into this voiceover that I just did in Final Cut. All I did to it was uh, a one, an EQ pass. I did a little compressor and some limiter just to normalize it and make it sound better. But that's it. I did not denoise or declick or debreeze or do anything else to this audio. So let's start by listening to this audio and placing a marker every time we hear a brass. The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. True, nervous, very, very dreadfully nervous. I One. had been and am. But Two. why will you say that I'm mad? The disease had sharpened my senses, not destroyed, not dulled Three. them. Above Four. all was the sense of hearing acute. I Five. heard all things in the heaven and in the earth. I heard many things in hell. How Six. then am I mad? Harken and observe our health. So on this video, just doing one quick pass, I could hear six breaths that I would like to remove. So to remove them manually, the trick is to use the range tool. So I'm going to press on R. You can also go up here and select the range selection tool. I'm going to enlarge my audio by pressing Command Plus. And I'm going to go where I have my marker. So here I have a marker and I've done this enough time that I actually can recognize a breath with the app before I even hear it. For example, I know it's right here. So here using my range tool, I'm going to select the part of the audio that has the breath. Then I'm going to grab the volume bar and I'm going to drag it down. I like to drag it down to between minus 20 and minus 25 decibel. And when I've done that, you can see that what has happened, four keyframes have been created automatically for me. So that's a nice little trick. If you didn't know about it, it's a lot faster than doing each keyframe manually. So I'm going to go to the next one. And here I can tell it's right here again. So same thing, range selection tool, grab the uh, volume bar, bring it down between minus 20 and 25 or whatever decibel level you want to bring it down. Here, I can tell it's right here. Range selection tool. Select, grab, bring down. I think we ha only have two more. Let's do this quickly. And another one. Now let's listen to it with the breast manually removed. The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. True, nervous, very, very dreadfully nervous, I had been and am. But why will you say that I'm mad? The disease had sharpened my senses, not destroyed, not dulled them. Above all was the sense of hearing acute. I heard all things in the heaven and in the earth. I heard many things in hell. How then? Okay, good. I personally like to depress my audio. I think it makes the audio sounds cleaner and smoother. Now, I understand that it's a question of personal preferences. Some people do not like to depress their audio. They believe, I understand the argument, they believe that uh, we are human beings. That's what we do. We breathe. And removing the press from an audio makes the audio sounds unnatural. But that's not me. I believe that it makes the audio again cleaner, smoother, and it's more pleasant for the listener. But that's just a question of personal preference. Now that we have done this manually, let's look at the plugin. The problem with doing it manually, it's easy. 
but it's tedious, it's time consu consuming, and it is quite ineffective. And it, it can take a long time if you have many clips or you have a long audio, and it not only will take you a long time, but it is very boring. So I decided to try several plugins and I tried three different plugins. I tried the plugin from Waves, which is the one I'm using, which has become my go-to Debress plugin. But I also tried the Debress plugin from Acusonus and from Isotope. And I personally have concluded that the Waves Debress plugin is by far, to me, it was not even close, the most effective, the most user-friendly, and the most consistent. On top of that, I think I paid less than $30 for it. It was on sale. And by the way, I am not sponsored by Waves. As a matter of fact, I am not sponsored by anyone. I don't think any of those people are interested in my little 300 plus subscriber channel. So now let's look at the plugin. So I'm going to duplicate this audio. I'm going to press Option and drag this clip to duplicate it. Let's quickly remove all the markers. All the keyframe I'm at. And now let's just apply the plugin. So here I'm going to go in my effect. And I'm going to go into waves. And here is my depressed plugin. I'm going to drag it and drop it on my clip. And it's going to apply its magic immediately. So look at the difference. So boom, we can see it has removed sound here. It has here, here. So let's see what it did. Found something here that apparently we miss. It found something here that apparently we missed as well. It got this one. It got this one. It found something here. Well, I think it might have missed this one, or maybe it's me that uh, when I put the marker, since it was delayed, that I, I did not get the proper one. So it got this one, it got this one, it got this one. And it found something we can tell right here what we have, we have missed. So let's open the controller of the Debrest plugin. It's not we don't want the Yulian. This is the one we want. So it's uh, pretty simple. You have two buttons on the left. You have two monitoring screens in the middle, and you have some buttons on the right. And the way this plug is in, the plugin works, it is based on two criteria. In other words, your audio, any part of your audio that meet both of those criteria, then is considered to be a breath, and the amount of reduction that you have defined right here will be applied to that part of the audio. And this here is percentages, and this here is decibel. Here, the part that's called the, the monitoring screen that is called the breast is really a threshold, meaning that the sound has to exceed the audio, has to exceed this threshold level in order for it to be marked as a potential breast. And this is a gate, the energy part, the second screen beneath is a gate. And what this means is that the uh, part that, of the audio cannot exceed this line here. It is a gate. So if an audio exceeds the threshold and is below the gate, then it is considered a breast, and the level of reduction that you have determined here will be applied to that part of the audio. Now, the threshold, this is in percentages, so 100%, 0%, and this monitoring screen here shows you what the amount, the level of characteristic of a breast that that part of the audio has. So Wave have defined what are the characteristics of a breast, and here it's set at 50%. So any part of your audio that has at least 50% of the characteristic of a breast as defined by Wave will be marked. If at the same time its energy level falls below the gate, here set at minus 32 dB, then it will be considered a breast and it will be removed. Those, by the way, are the factory settings. So the factory setting, it's 50% for the threshold, minus 30 dB for the gate. And I've tried to play with those settings quite a bit. I have actually tried to fine tune them so that the audio, the plugin would catch more breaths because it does miss once, once in a while. 
And I found that those factory settings are spot on and actually the best. So after fooling around for a while and trying all kinds of different combination, I have come back to the factory setting and I don't even bother touching them anymore. And that would be my recommendation to you. On the right, this is a reduction. So once the plugin has identified a breast, what amount of reduction do you want the plugin to apply to this press? Here it's set at minus infinity, meaning it's going to remove all sound. It's going to be complete silent as if somebody had turned off the audio. I don't like that, particularly if your audio has a little bit of background noise, a little bit of white noise. It will sound strange. It will sound again as if somebody had just completely turned the audio. It will make it sound like something is missing. It will sound unnatural. So I like to set it the same as my when I do my manual depress between minus 20 and minus 25. So here minus 23 would be fine. So it's going to leave a little bit of white noise in the background. This is fade out and fade in. How much time do you want to to, uh, to elapse from for the plugin to apply and retract the uh, reduction? I personally don't touch them. I have. I don't. To me, they don't do much of anything, or actually, I don't really like what they do. So you can set to here, it sets to five milli, millisecond, I believe, but you can change that. I do not use the fade out, fade in button. Now, I use the monitor buttons. You have two buttons and monitor, you have voice and breath. Right now, it's on voice. And when it's on voice, let's disable manual plugin that we did. When it's on voice, it will show you the audio with the breast removed, which is exactly what we have here. We can see all the parts of the audio that have had reduction applied. If I click on breast, it's going to show me what has been removed. It's going to show me just the breath. And actually, you can listen to it. And I do like to listen to the breast just to make sure that the plugin has not removed any sound that I do not want to be removed. So let's just take a quick second and listen to what it has removed. I'm going to pop up the volume a little bit so we can hear it. And here we go. That's fine. That's a, definitely a brass. Fine. <laughs> So I think in this, in this particular instance, the plugin did an amazing job. Not only it captured every breath we highlighted, but it actually found a couple more. And you see that it did it very quickly, very efficiently, and it had to do very little. So in this case, I would be happy and I would just leave it as is. Now, I have to say that usually it misses one or two. It can consistently capture the vast majority of the breasts, but it will miss one or two, which you will have to fine tune manually. So here it is. That's how I use my uh, plugin. And uh, that's how the Waves Debrace plugin works. So I hope you found this uh, useful. I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.